Um, hey, what's up, you guys? I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on your computer. First, what you have to do is um, type in Ubuntu.com. I'll add this in the description box. And if you see, um, when you when you're at the main site, click download on the top. You'll see um, options where it says download and install. Try it from a CD or USB stick or run it with Windows. I prefer running it with Windows, but if you want to have a completely different software, then just click download and install, but I'm going to do it with Windows. So click run it with Windows. Click start download. You wait for that to load. It, it doesn't matter what, um, what web browser you use. I'm just using Google Chrome because I think it's faster and I enjoy using it. So you click run. Give it a second. I am Tyler Computers. I am the um, the cousin of TYA TV, but I'm at, I actually am TYA TV. It's just an extra account. So for your username, you can type in whatever. I'm just gonna put in Tyler and password, just whatever. Put demo. Let's put it in. Go. And then see if you click desktop environment, Ubuntu, Ubuntu Network, Netbook, Kubuntu, Xubuntu, MyUbuntu. Uh, I will show you what those mean later. But like, if if you just want Ubuntu, click that. If you want Ubuntu, like if you want it to be like the netbook type, do that. But I'm just gonna go with Ubuntu. Okay, and then you just click install. Then you wait for it to download. It takes approximately a few minutes. And if you if this comes up, click allow access. I've tried Ubuntu a few times, it is very fast and very efficient. So I hope this tutorial helps you. Let's just keep um, you know, watching. Actually, I will come back right after this is done downloading. Hey, hey, we are back. So after it is finished downloading, it says you need your reboot to complete the installation. You, if, if you want to manually reboot it, and if you want to, you can. But I highly recommend reboot now. So click reboot now and click finish. And then what will happen is um, your computer will automatically turn off. Just wait a, wait a few minutes. But if you want to install Ubuntu by itself without using Windows at all, I recommend using a USB stick. That's probably the best thing you should use for that. And you click and then you wait for it to log off. Then now we'll do that if you have it with Windows. I do not know if it will do that for your when you install it, but that's what it's saying for mine. <laughs> so I'm using a desktop computer. Without using, you know what. So then, then it does that. Just give it one minute. I will put the website description in the box and what you have to do if that helps you out. Depending on what kind of. Um, computer software you run, it will sometimes I'll come up. I'm not using a laptop currently right now because I already have it downloaded on there, but yes, this will take a minute or two to, you know, get through. Just give it a minute.
I'm back and when when you when you're done installing it it will ask you choose an operating system to start or press tab to select a tool you use the arrow keys to highlight your choice and press enter so if you want to use Windows 7 use Windows 7 but use the key down and go to Ubuntu and click enter then it will ask you for Ubuntu Linux 2.6 Point three eight dash eight dash generic and then Ubuntu Linux and then eh, we got that. <laughs> Guess I talked too long. And then let's see. Let's give it exactly one second. We are back and I'm going to click Windows 7 loader so we can do it this way. Uh, let's do that again. Click Ubuntu. So come up. Like Ubuntu Linux. Then let's see what we got. Then this little intro will come up and you click. I already installed it, so when you install it, some stuff will come up. But then you um, click password and you put your password in. Then you click login. I already installed this so you didn't get to see it, but and then there's a little intro that comes up every time you play it. And you try to use it. Let's give it a second. And then as you see on the sidebar, let's um zoom in. Maybe zoom in. So right here it is let's see, um I don't think I think you guys can see that. What says home folder? You got LibreOffice Writer, LibreOffice Calculator. LibreOffice Impress, Workspace Switcher, Applications, and Files and Folder. Let's click Applications, see what happens. And see, then you got all this. You got some games, you got. You can, like, download a lot of stuff on here. And then. Watch it. Like, it, 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 it's sort of like Mac OS X Snow Leopard. It's like, you see, like, when, you, when you're on this, like, you know, home, home folder or whatever you're using comes up right there. But anyway, hope this tutorial helped you out. I will see you for the next tutorial or whatever happens next. I will see you later. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you later. Subscribe, comment, like. I will see you later. Mwah.